these list. I have to spray killers, miscellaneous killers around the house. Around the house and gardens. I have to weed in front of the house, mulch in front of the house, plant these acorns, uh, transplant stuff from a garden that's going to be turned into grass elsewhere. I have to find a place to put it. I have a whole truck full of gravel that needs to go on the side of the shed right here. I have to brush cut in the southwest pasture right back there. And I have seed for all of the pastures that I need to rake in. Got some bluegrass on the sale, which is pretty nice. Um, and I have to plant a little sample grass garden. So a ton of miscellaneous stuff to do today, but I'm going to start with the, with the acorns. They are more than ready, so, and it's drizzling outside, so I'm going to get to that. Oh, you can see the whole bottom is roots. With actual branching roots as well, not just a long tap root. So, let's see what we got here. These are some pretty awesome sets of roots on these things. This one is pretty much ready to go. You can see the roots on the lower part. And that up there is the lead. That's why you put these sideways. The root goes down and the stalk goes up. If you put these, well, if you put them in the ground, they may or may not come out. Um, and then they'll use up the energy stored in the acorn until that's all gone. So, I'm going to gently break these apart. I have some, it's straight peat that I used this Schultz Starter Plus. I, I mixed up a full strength batch of this and dampened, pre-moistened the peat with it. So now, I'm going to get them in cups, just some solo cups. I'm going to put a little slit on the bottom. And I'm going to grow these until I got a couple sets of leaves. And then I'll put them wherever they're going. Some are going along the road out front. Some are going along the road to the side. And some will just go in the woods that I'm clearing. When I'm slitting these solo cups, I like to stab a a razor into there and then twist it a little bit. If I just stab this in and pull it out, the, the little slit will close up and these will fill up with water and cause root rot. So I got enough soil in there so that my root will be covered. Then I'm going to add add a fistful around it and get that root buried. You don't necessarily need to cover the acorn, but it's going to get covered on this one. Yeah, you can't, you can't leave oaks in a pot for too long because they have a tap root, and the tap root will just keep going around and around inside the cup. Um, so when they're transplanted, if you can get that tap root um, going straight into the ground, it would be better. But otherwise, you're going to have a curly cue of a tap root. 
I, I don't think it matters, but... Oh, no, 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 no eating. The... Thank you for your help, kitty. Trying to leave that stem exposed on all of them so that it's in the light and it knows which way to go. Well, it's going to know which way to go by gravity anyways, but this way it can uh, absorb some sunshine. I'm going to put these in the window in here until they're leaved out and then off they go. Yeah, some of these are looking really nice. Got a lot of roots on that. is one, two, four, five, six, seven that are sprouted but minorly and this one which eh, may not make it and then I got a, a few that are still cracked and will possibly sprout so what I'm gonna do is throw them in a bag again and, and see what they do and get the rest of these in the window and put something over them to keep them humid and then when I get a couple leaves I'll plant them out some more to these give them another week and the ones that I've already sprouted I 
I will toss. Well, to the ones that actually have a root, I will poke into the ground somewhere in the woods where there's not as many acorns as I would, or <laughs> somewhere where there's not as many oaks as I would like towards the edges of the woods. Well, I got them under these clear bins. That should be good enough to keep the moisture in. Um, these wouldn't fit. So, until they get leaves, these uh, acorns have a tendency of drying out. And I don't want that to happen. So, little greenhouses for all of them until they start getting a little bigger and hopefully I can get them out of here pretty soon I don't have room for this stuff okay all done with the acorn planting everything should be fine now um, hopefully these little greenhouses will keep them moist enough but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to spritz them probably daily, but they should make it just fine. I got my damn Ferguson manual wet. But anyways, I have seed for the pastures to plant. I got to get this stump remover into some of these stumps pretty soon as well. There's my list. This is not on the list. Um, but it needs to be. Um, these were on sale the end of last year. They try to uh, get rid of all this stuff. We have the one big evergreen out in the pasture that I can put these on. I'm not a big fan of the evergreen. Oh, actually we have two, so hopefully I can use those up. I mean, I can use them anywhere. They just, um, they have a little bit more acid to them than the regular fruit tree spikes, and it's a different, it's a different, uh, this is 9, 12, 12, this is 13, 3, 4. So this has got a lot of nitrogen in it. So I, I can use it anywhere, it's not going to do a whole lot of good though. So I got to get those in, and... I'm going to keep going till dark uh, until I got to go pick up my daughter from track practice at 545. So I'll make some little snippets of video of all the other crap I got to do today, the stuff I mentioned on the list. But that'll be it for the acorn planting. All done. They're all in cups except for the stuff that was lagging behind, which is back into a bag. Um, those are most likely going to end up being just pressed into the ground somewhere in the woods. I'm not going to have time to pot them again. So that's it for this video. Uh, there'll be another video coming out, or the next video, I should say, will likely be the miscellaneous crap that'll make up the rest of the day. Stop back soon, and we'll talk to you later.